That really was some Super Bowl. The Kansas City Chiefs champions once again, probably still partying in Las Vegas. They're the first team to win back-to-back -back Super Bowls in almost 20 years. And it was only the second overtime in Super Bowl history. Of course, not everybody watched for the game. Some tuned in for the ads of the halftime show. Kate Chappell spoke with local industry experts for the commercials that people will still be talking about. I really like the Beyonce one uh, with what? the Verizon. Um, it was unexpected. My favorite one was the State Farm ad with Arnold Schwarzenegger because my husband's Austrian, so we thought that was funny. Famous faces once again tried to capture consumers' attention during the Super Bowl, with many advertisers relying on humor, not controversy, to make a splash. Hey, Arnold, I'm hearing neighbor. It's neighbor. That's what I said. Neighbor. Every ad had so many celebrities, and I think the part of celebrity that's interesting in ads is like there are some that totally make sense for the brand that work really well, and some that are totally cut and paste. Ron DiNicenzo, the chief creative officer for Golan, an ad agency in Chicago, says the choice should make sense for the brand. The donkeys! And several did it well. I'm Michael Sarah, and I'm pleased to announce that this is my cream. Sarah V. The big game is advertising's biggest stage, and companies paid the most ever for spots. Seven million for just 30 seconds. We had a lot of strong advertisers. It was a pretty safe and lighthearted year. With advertisers trading jaw-dropping moments for celebrity endorsements and surprise announcements instead. Time for a surprise drop. What we're ultimately looking for is, does it help build the brand? But the exciting thing is there are different paths to that. Every year, Northwestern MBA students rank ads, and this year gave their highest marks to CeraVe, Doritos, and Google. One face cropped. Move your phone down. And it's just, it's feeling. You know, it just, what, what did I, I laughed so much, I cried so much, I talked about it so much. If you're spending that much money, honestly, you want to leave people with an emotion, not just an ad. Kate Chappell, NBC5 News.